Hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be repotting this dendrobium chocolate chip and I thought I'd take advantage of this and talk to you guys about Latoria type dendrobiums. So I'm going to be repotting this orchid because it's got some new growths coming in as you can see. This is the orchid that I got from Akatsuka Orchids which was stuck in transit for two weeks in the cold so when I first got this orchid, it had some new growths coming in and they died off. So I was a little bit worried about the longevity state of this orchid. However, look at these new growths coming in. So the new growths are throwing out new roots and now is the best time to repot this. Taking a closer look, I don't know if this is to do with transit. I'll put a picture for you guys to show you uh, what it looked like when I got it, but this was in bud when I received it. Unfortunately, all of the buds blasted. So this orchid was in transit, as I said, for two weeks in the end of December, um, early January. So the orchids that I received with that um, in that box all sustained cold damage. This one, I think this is related to that shipping as of Right now, as I'm making this video, it's been two months since I received this orchid, and these uh, leaf tips have slowly started dying back, so I may lose some of these leaves. Either way, I'm okay with it because we've got some new growths coming in. I'll cut off these uh, old growths that didn't make it. These were the growths that were new growths that were coming in when it was in transit, and they died off, but we've got a new root system coming in. So... Let's talk about Latoria type dendrobiums. So these orchids differ from Dendrobium phalaenopsis in that they have very thin canes on the bottom. So they're very thin on the bottom and then they fatten up further up and then the flowers come on top. So these orchids have blooms that last pretty long um, they can last about three months, similar to Phalaenopsis, which is great. I've heard reports of some of these uh, blooms lasting four months. I haven't had this orchid in bloom yet because of the um, cold damage that it sustained, but I'm looking, I'm looking forward to um, seeing how this does and how long those blooms last. These orchids like moderate light levels. I think that was giving it pretty strong light. Um, I'm going to pull that back a little bit. I think they do just fine with moderate light levels. I think just watch your leaves. In this case, in my case rather, um, I think a lot of this is to do with the transit and the stress it sustained two months ago and now it's all showing. But again, I'm not super concerned just given that we've got those new growths coming in. This orchid likes to be kept consistently moist so I'm going to be transitioning it to a semi-hydroponic setup. So in general, um, these orchids don't like to dry out too much, unlike a, a Dunfowl where you would water pretty abundantly, but you could let it dry a good bit. These like to be a little bit more on the moist side. So I'm going to be potting this up in LECA in a self-watering system, and I'm sure it's going to like it just fine. The only exception to this rule is in the winter, they take a little bit less water. So I will monitor and see how it does in the self-watering system and then perhaps leave the water reservoir a little bit uh, less full in the winter and that should be just fine. These orchids are slightly fragrant and they have um, some really pretty blooms. A lot of them are spotted. They're very, very pretty. Some folks say they look a little bit repetitive and I could see why, but overall this is a really nice orchid. The blooms are very long lasting. They're pretty easy to take care of. They are uh, warm growers, so they're not gonna be stressed with uh, warm weather generally. So these are, are pretty, pretty easy to take care of. I do have two um, Latoria type dendrobiums that I have in semi-hydro, which I'll show you right now. To the right, we've got dendrobium mini snowflake. And then to the left, we've got dendrobium uh, green flash. So both of these are Latoria type dendrobiums. As you can see, it's characterized by that bottom cane being 
much smaller at the bottom um, and they're all like this. The care is generally the same for them. They're warm growers. They like to be kept constantly moist. Um, they are not super heavy feeders, so I give them a moderate amount of fertilizer. Um, about 150 parts per million in the winter, about 300 in the summer or when they're in active growth. And they do pretty well. So this is adapting. Um, I got these all together actually. Around the same time rather. I got these two together and I got this one from a different shipment. Um, but so far they're doing well. They're throwing down some new roots into the LECA. It hasn't fully established yet, but I think it'll be just fine. Um, they suck up the water pretty fast. So these live on a heat mat and they're liking it. I'm just waiting for more roots to start going down into the medium and it's starting. So my comment about the um, moderate light is because I experimented with these orchids in higher light and it scorched the leaves a little bit. So I don't think these appreciate uh, or want Cattleya-like conditions, but I have them in more Oncidium type conditions, pretty moderate, not super close to the lights, but they get a moderate amount. This one over here is the green flash. Same sort of situation when I had it closer to the light. This leaf turned a little bit um, of a lighter purple color, so I don't think it liked it too much. So moderate light levels it is. Anyhow, given that the um, dendrobium chocolate chip is in active growth, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak this for a while I'm gonna remove the bark. I'll be very careful with those new root tips and then I will be repotting it into some LECA. So I'll come back and show you guys how it looks when it's all done. All right, dendrobium chocolate chip is all done. I'm gonna to top her off with a layer of pebbles on top to maintain some moisture in here. And I'm gonna fill up her water reservoir with some um, rooting hormone. I'll probably use Super Thrive to help out with the uh, trauma she just sustained. But this was a really tough repot. The root ball was just um, extremely dense and all of the little pieces of bark and moss were very, very difficult to get rid of and it was almost impossible to not break roots. So I just left some in the root ball just because I didn't want to keep hacking away at those healthy roots. I broke probably half of them without wanting to. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, I want to give a quick update on Dendrobium Chocolate Chip. So I was intending on uploading that video uh, sooner, but given that I haven't uploaded it yet, I wanted to give you a progress update. I originally re repotted this on February 28th. Today is April 11th, and we've got some pretty well-established buds forming. So I'd say that this repot was successful. So I'm very happy with this. In terms of the leaves and the new growths, the leaves that were damaged by the cold um, have naturally started falling off. So you can see some bare canes here. So this one no longer has its leaves, which is totally fine. And I'm actually happy this is happening because then we don't have this unsightly leaf. That's okay. So what I'm finding is that these leaves that came with this orchid that were cold damaged are just eating away at themselves and falling off naturally. The leaves that were not as affected are fine. And this came with the orchid and pushed out a new spike. I'm curious to see if these bare, uh, bare leaf canes will also produce a new spike. Overall, this is doing really well. The new growths have uh, pushed through as well. So this is a new growth over here. This is doing really well. Um, as we take a, a look closer, this is new. This is also new. You can see that this leaf is pretty fresh. And I'm also curious to see if these push out new spikes as well. I think they will. But so far, I'd say that this repotting was a success. So this was a challenging repot because it was pot bound for a long time from the nursery. I think we can all relate to getting some of these orchids, especially on Cidium types usually, where they've been in the pot for way too long and then you have to deal with a lot of bark, and then um, it's inevitable to uh, mess up the roots. But overall, given that this orchid went through 
two weeks in transit in the cold, sustained cold damage, this is going to be just fine. And, and these uh, buds give me a ton of hope. I hope you guys like this video. I think Latoria dendrobium types are very easy to grow. They're moisture loving. They seem to like uh, Leca semi-hydro. This is a month and a half update and it's pretty much thriving and those new roots are going down really nicely. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Take care everyone. Bye.